If it's not the Allspark, it's something just as powerful. I volunteered to deploy and breach the Autobot ship! I didn't spend the last four million solar cycles searching the galaxy just so you could lay your greasy wings on the Allspark. Hello? I will harness its energy into the ultimate weapon and crush the Autobots for good. Well, I'll just get these fixed then. What do you want now, Starscream? Only to wish you luck, my liege. I do not believe in luck. Neither do I. Is that... Megatron? You never said he was so big. You never said he could fly! Guess he wasn't coming for us. <sighs> Ratchet, seal the hull breach. Prowl, hold the ship steady. Bulkhead, Bumblebee, guard the Allspark. I'll hold off Megatron. But we're repair bots. We're not programmed for this kind of action. Then consider this an upgrade. Imminent. Go to manual override. Can you even do that? Hey! What's that thing doing? a dark day in Decepticon history. May the legacy of our fallen leader Megatron live in our memory cores for all eternity. As I appoint myself new leader, I solemnly pledge to... Where's everybody gone? Ratchet, everyone all right? Bulkhead, Bumblebee, report! The old spark, where is it? I grow impatient. Artificial gravity disabled. Prime, putting us on equal footing, so to speak. Hey, who turned off the? Sorry, my bad. <laughs> know what? You're even uglier from this angle. <laughs> Scarier too. Everyone in position for a concentrated attack on my signal. Prowl, no! Wait for my signal! Ah! Ah! 
Okay, the decoy was a nice touch, but once again, a little warning would have helped. Would it kill you, boss, to say something like, heads up, or I don't know, watch out, or... Incoming! Spark, and I may spare your miserable Autobot lives. Back in the early 20th century, Detroit was known as the Motor City, the automobile manufacturing capital of the world. Today, Detroit is once again the world's leading manufacturer, not of automobiles, but automatons, robots, or as we here at SumTac Systems like to call them, our tireless mechanical partners, ever reliable, never complaining. No task too mundane or unpleasant. Unencumbered by fears and phobias, able to survive and withstand extreme environments far beyond the capacity of us mere humans. The robot revolution begins here, on a typical SumDAC systems assembly line, where we make the latest line of my SumDAC robots. Any questions? Where'd you get the idea for your robots, Mr. SumDAC? It was something that I just sort of stumbled upon. Ooh. 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 Forgive me, children. This is my daughter, Sari. Sari, what do you say? Anybody got a pair of scissors? Ah, never mind. Ew. <sighs> so, uh, what's it like to grow up around all these cool robots? I don't know. What's it like to go to school with other kids? 
I apologize once again for the interruption. Hey, but my daughter must oh, return to her studies now. No, Good not morning, morning Salt. Today, we will discuss the impact of the smooth Holly terror. Here we are working on the latest development in nanotechnology. Self-replicating, sub-microscopic, biodiagnostic robots designed to fight disease, monitor and repair the human body from within. Not quite the cure for cancer, but these microbots are a major first step in the fusion of the organic and the technological, and quite possibly, the gateway to immortality. I... I can't stop the replication. The cells are growing out of control. Merging with more microbots! They're merging with everything!